next test we're going to do is called hydrostatic weighing. And what you're going to have to do is have your secondary test administrators check the temperature of the water in degrees Celsius using this thermometer located on the side of the tank. This is the water density chart. And this is how you will find the density of the water to make your measurements accurate. We got a reading of 30 degrees Celsius in our tank today. So we'll look across and find that the density of the water is 0.9957. You simply write that number down and will be taken into account during the calculations on the computer. And then the primary test administrator is going to stand right where I'm standing and keep an eye on the client. You'll have your client climb into the tank and get comfortable. Tell them to shake out all their bubbles when they're in there and take a seat in the chair. Your client's going to need to get everything wet, including their hair. And a good tip to give your clients is when you sit in the chair, try and wrap your feet around the bottom of it. You don't want your client to be touching the sides or the bottom of the tank because that could mess with the reading. When they're ready, you'll tell them to put their head underwater and expel all the air from their lungs. Any air left in the lungs will be counted as fat. That's a good motivator to get them to get all their air out. Once you see the last bubbles come up, you'll knock on the tank. This signifies that they can come up and breathe again, and also that the secondary test administrators can take a reading on the computer. Tell your client if they ever feel like they need to come up for air for any reason, just to come up and we can always do the test again. So she's expelling a lot of bubbles. Last bubble, she's done. Knock on the tank and take a reading. This is the computer where the secondary test administrators will take the readings for the hydrostatic tank. Usually, I like to have about two people doing the readings because the numbers tend to move slightly fast. Two, one person can read the first two numbers and one person can read the second two numbers. And then you just record it on your sheet. Good job. You'll do about three tests. You want to get uh, three readings that are within point one of each other. So you'll take as many tests as you need until you get those numbers. Once your client has completed the test, tell them that they can take a towel if they need it and go dry off and change in the bathroom, which are located in the halls.